Hello and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Worker Studio. In this tutorial, we will talk about interior rendering. So let's get to work. I download this file from the 3dwarehouse.com. So I'm gonna show you how we can render it in Enscape for SketchUp. This tutorial is for beginners and you can use it in different type of levels for rendering. First of all, I need to create my camera. So I'm gonna click on the F, create view in here. And I want to set out these part of my job for the rendering something like that maybe like this so i'm gonna click on the peach option turn it to the zero and yeah is about 56 so i don't use any type of rendering preset and cat view name is completely okay so i want to work with the sun brightness so i'm gonna hold shift and right click and change the time of the day near to the morning and hold ctrl plus u and a and change the uh, sun angle or solar rotation. It takes a little bit of time to find your best route. Well, I think something like that is good. I'm gonna click on the create option in here and I will close the uh, create view from this part of my job. It takes a little bit of time sometimes because it depends on multi-type of factors. So my camera number one created for me. I'm gonna click on the uh, visual setting, click on the uh, skybox and I can't see the sun in my environment. So I'm going to turn off the density, variety, size amount, and count rate. So I'm going to go to the outside to see what really happened. And this is my sun angle. So I'm going to hold it maybe something like that. And now I will come back to my main view like this. Something like this one. Hold control, U and I change the time of the day, something like that. And now I want to adjust. So first of all, I need to turn the two point perspective, turn on the SA frame as the full HD rendering setting. And I'm going to click on the visual setting, move it to this part of my job. So as a matter of fact, some brightness is really high and make your render unrealistic. So I'm going to click on the atmosphere and reduce the sun brightness as I can to some number like 1%. So if I change it to the zero, you can see what's really happened and you only have some GI light in your environment. It's not bad, so I'm going to come back to the main bar, reduce the field of view to some number like this, turn it to the uh, 60 degree in here, turn on the depth of field, turn off the autofocus, leave it the focal point. I want to focus in the center point of my job. 4.50 is enough, so in the depth of field I'm going to change it to the 11. And I think everything is done. I'm going to turn off the auto exposure and re-expose my screen manually to control all the settings which related to this render. If I turn on the auto exposure, I can reduce it to create some normal light for it. So rendering quality on the ultra mode and I want to increase the outline a little bit to create some differences between surfaces and edges. So in the image bar, I'm going to turn on the auto contrast Increase the saturation a little bit to the 116 and color temperature can be decreased to some number of 5200 Kelvin. Motion blur is zero. Bloom option is not really important and lens flare is not really important too. I want to increase the awakening as I can to some number about 54% and chromatic aberration is zero in the atmosphere. I don't need any type of necessary fogs in here. Night sky brightness related to the night rendering, so you don't need to manage it. Shadow sharpness not really useful, but because we don't have any direct sun, we can reduce the shadow sharpness to make some clear and soft shadows. Artificial light brightness not really useful. Ambient brightness related to the hyperlight. For example, if I increase it, I can make some points which are completely out of the camera fixed point and we can create something like that. So 66% is enough. Wind is not really important. Output is good. And time for changing some setting which related to the materials. So I'm gonna minimize Enscape in here and SketchUp in here. So it takes a little bit of time to optimize the area for me. I'm gonna click on the uh, paint bucket in here. Click on the uh, sample paint and click on the Enscape Material Editor. So when I click on the sample paint in here, I can pick up one of these textures as a uh, test texture. So I want to select this one, color triple zero selected for me. If I change the color to the uh, silver, you can see what's really happened inside your 
landscape environment so some type of color like dim gray or maybe silver is not really bad I can reduce the uh, roughness to create some high glass material in here it's really important in your interior visualizing 6% for the Metallica and the specular is about 34% and you can see the details in here next item related to this sleep light in here so I'm going to click on the uh, frame of it it's the uh, some type of black color I can change it to the golden old color in here some type of dark golden art in here Metallica is about 66 roughness is about 6% and the specular is about 76% another time I'm going to pick this one up change it to the uh, white material in here but this time I don't want to increase the uh, Metallica of it as a matter of fact I want to increase roughness of it so 36% is enough for it and I think everything is done in here so it's some type of transmittance texture you can change it to the cutout and create some more realistic texture of it like that very simple and easy so the main color of it can be get a little bit warm like the crimson color maybe something like that can be change your eye contact or maybe this one this one is not bad Next texture which is really important in this part of my rendering is the wall texture Conscript green in here So I'm gonna change the tint color of it to the white Reduce the image weight to the 80% And roughness is about 66 Metallica is about 2 and 54% for the uh, specular So final texture related to these library of books in here so I'm going to pick it up, material number 79, select it for me. I will go to the Enscape material editor and reduce your roughness to the 34%. And you can see what really happened inside your project. It makes your textures more brighter than the uh, other times, 56% for it. Image fade is about 90 and I think everything is done. So final texture related to the uh, sofa so i'm gonna pick it up from here letter number one selected for me first of all i'm going to change the tint color to the uh, some type of color like that maybe a little bit darker something like this or some color like this one and reduce your roughness to the uh, 56 percent Metallica is about 2% and Specular is about 78%. Time for the rendering. Come back to the Enscape environment. Click on the uh, screenshot bottom in here. Choose your desktop. Name is not really important and press save. As you can see in Enscape for SketchUp, you can create these type of realistic renders. I think under them 10 minutes and it's really incredible for people who are beginner in 3D visualizing. It takes a little bit of time, my NVIDIA denoiser is on and it can reduce the noise of your renders completely remarkable and it's really suitable for the systems which have high config I don't recommend it for the low config laptops or PCs because it can really make lots of pressure on your graphic card so 62%, 68, 75 and I think it's over right now it takes a little bit of time and it is over. So you can see the final render in here and I think it's really incredible. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and goodbye.